the best parts of New Jersey is low gas prices. I live in New York, but I love to gas up in the Garden State because it's much cheaper. Residents don't want a higher gas tax, but Republican Senator Steve Orojo has introduced a bill that would raise the gas tax by 37.5 cents. So that's on top of the 14.5 cents we're already paying in gas taxes, bringing the total, if you're doing the math, to 52 cents per gallon. Now, what has prompted all this is talk of the Transportation Trust Fund and how it's going to be depleted very soon, and there's a need to have enough funds to pay for new bridges, roads, roads and constructions and repairs. Governor Christie, though, has always been a skeptic when it comes to raising the gas tax to fix our roads because he actually believes that it's not as close to being depleted as has been portrayed in the media and as union workers and politicians like to explain it. So to get some more clarity on the gas tax issue and why New Jersey residents are going to be slammed with it if it becomes law, I caught up with Republican Senator Jen Beck at the Old York Country Club in Chesterfield. $2.5 billion. It is outrageous. And if you're a resident of this state and you commute to work, you have no choice. It's a very regressive tax. and. I mean, I was opposed before, I'm just stunned now. She talked about how it would really affect the airline industry. All the airlines are up in arms over what it does to devastate them in terms of not just region, but country. I mean, their business will be compromised enormously and they provide 150,000 jobs. We also talked about how this would affect average workers in New Jersey. And then you talk about small businesses, lawn services, dry cleaners, all of those folks have to drive and they have no choice. The bill is currently going to be voted on on Thursday at the State House in the Senate Budget Committee. If it makes it out of committee, there will then be a full vote in the Senate. There's a similar bill in the Assembly, so it's still in the works, but obviously many residents in New Jersey hope that it gets killed. There's actually a serious situation. I mean, Hank and I have both done stories on bridges falling down. We do have a crisis in New Jersey with our infrastructure, so we need to have a serious conversation about this and decide what we will give up and what we will pay to fix our roads because we can't keep going this way.